How to add custom CSS to Wix website. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you could add a CSS on your Wix website that you are creating in Wix.com. I will also show you how to add other types of code into your Wix website. We will also get some help from ChatGPT to produce us the code that we will be showing you on our Wix website. So let's get started actually. For me, I will start with creating a new website first because when you're trying to add a CSS or a code on your Wix website, everything needs to be set up properly. Now, unfortunately, on this two website that I already have, it's not properly set up yet, so I won't be able to use that feature. So let me create a quick website for us to demonstrate it in today's video. Now, adding a CSS on your Wix website is the same process as adding other elements into your website. It, it will be located in the element section and adding it won't really be too complicated. Now, the version that I will be using for the Wix is the version we're in. This is the classic Wix website editor. This is not the new version. So if you're trying to uh, see how to do it on the new version, unfortunately, you won't be able to see it in this video. But uh, I will be using, since I will be using the old version or the classic Wix website editor, if you're into using that editor, you will be able to know how to do it in this version. So let me finish up creating our website over here. Let's add our typical features to our website, and as you can see. And let's simply start with our dashboard first. And let's see, preparing our dashboard. One of the requirements for us to add a CSS or a code snippet into our website template is to have our website be published. So let's start with our template over here. Then let's simply click on design our site from this area. Uh, design our site. There we go. Then let's go pick a template for us to customize. And let's select from the different templates that we have over here simply look for the template that you want but for example you don't want to use any of the templates you want to start from scratch i'm assuming since you are trying to add some css into your website maybe you could do it with this version or you would prefer to use a block website so let's edit a minimal layout over here and let's show you the different ways of how you will be able to add codes now, I don't think you will be able to edit the entire website or the entire form of the website because CSS is the style of a website. Unfortunately, depending on the type of template that you have, or I think even if you use a template of a blab where there is no element whatsoever, you can't really customize the CSS of the entire website. Although you could do the similar or the more manual version when you just build the website using the different elements since you are already free to move the different elements either way, I think there is really no point to editing the entire website CSS since you already have the feature or Wix already has the feature to move any elements in any area which is very great. So. Although I'm still going to show you how to add your code. So there are two ways. The first way is through elements over here on the top left. And as you can see, there will be an option over here called embedded code. Now, as you can see here, this is not really a CSS for the entire website, but these are code or this route is the area where you will be able to find the features of code where you could add an html you could even embed a website or you could have a custom element custom element uh, is a feature that would allow you to use css as well you can see here you could view its code by clicking on the settings button pasting the server url into a new browser tab and then explore this code and just as a reference to create your element so we will be able to click on choose source over here uh, let's copy this, paste it over here, 
and let's see let's see the output over here it's a bit hard to see but this is the code over here uh there we go this is the code being used and to debug this code open wix default custom elements in developer tools simply follow the instructions such as this one where you will have to go to the settings button and pasting the server url into a browser tab then you could change the code of this part over here then whatever code that you add will be the appearance of this snippet that you added over here now there is other options there are other elements as well as you scroll down there will be such as custom code over here add snippets to the head or the body of your website this will affect majority or a big part of your website of course so if you open this you will be able to see similar instructions as well and let's wait for it to load it might take a while but there we go there we go as you can see uh it's currently in the dashboard under settings so as you can see to add custom code first go to the editor and publish your site so you have to do that so let's go and publish our website over here save and continue there we go you can see the progress of the publishing over here if this finishes there we go our website is saved and let's try it once again click on add elements over here and let's select our option that we saw earlier oh, let's exit this exit this as well then click on custom code now let's wait for this to load once again now if you already have a source code or your different types of code either html or css that's really great but for me i don't have it yet so i would be able to ask a gpt to produce it for me as well you could do this same thing with me or you could do the same process where you could add produce a css that would display a cloud and a blue sky in the background and if you click on enter ChatGPT will create a code for you to use now although it won't be perfect as you can see it won't be able to produce a perfect output but it will be something you could work on or use as a reference or something to build on unfortunately as you can see we would need to upgrade our site and connect a domain to be able to add a custom code so this is something you need to finish up right now we are only using the domain or subdomain provided by wix but you're going to have to connect your own domain to access the specific feature of editing the entire website or the entire body or a specific big part of your website that is a requirement unfortunately as you can see you will need to connect it to a domain that you already have and connecting it to a domain would require you to pay for a domain but you can also do this process where you add this uh, custom element over here and you will be able to do the same process that I am talking about well over here um, unfortunately as you can see this is also limited because we would need to upgrade our site premium plan to fully access this feature as well but this is the process simply explore it if you have the access or the specific plan for your website you will be able to easily access and utilize all of these elements for you to add your website and that's basically it those are the two ways for you to add your css or even html or any type of code into your website and by simply adding the popular embeds over here you'll be able to add them over here you could utilize this html over here as you can see this one is free i think so let's actually uh ask a gpd to produce a, a sample produce html only you go click on enter and let's see how it says about produce a simple html that would mention a good morning message in a different language go see i think would be a mistake let's do it again read uh, html code 
that would greet me when it opens. Just a very simple code so that we could demonstrate how it would look like. It would look like this if you have the app read that I was talking about earlier, the process for this one. It would look like that, but let's copy our HTML over here. Is it over here? Uh, tap code. Paste. Date. And let's see if it will work. And there we go. We have our HTML over here. And the process would be the same thing with the custom element over here or the element that we saw earlier for the entire website, which is the custom code over here. And so that's it, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, if you find this helpful, even though I wasn't really able to demonstrate it, I was still able to show you where to find it and how you will be able to do it. And so that's it, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.